This video is for a little exercise in mindfulness in everyday life. And the topic I've chosen for practicing mindfulness is something that you either do do or could do, and that is laying the table. Now, there are so many different ways that one can lay a table, but the general principle of mindfulness <coughs> is that you have an envision of what type of table you want laid. You have the steps and the stages and all the components that are going to be on the table. And sometimes you might even plan ahead to get certain things for the table. And then on that basis of envisioning the style of the table, so it could be very casual, it could be just for you, it could be for someone else, uh, it could be uh, romantic or it could be fo very formal, uh, it could it need uh, lots of different sets of cutlery because there are going to be different courses and so and different glasses for different drinks perhaps if it's that formal. And so you need to have a little bit of background knowledge what's needed. So you check what's needed, what's here, what have I got, what do I need? And then you apply yourself, you engage in the process of laying the table. Now, some layings of the table, it's very quick. You know that you do, you're just going to do it quickly, just put knife and fork, salt and pepper, sit down and that's it. But other times it might be a good idea to actually give yourself time to do it uh, in a very mindful way, very present, very engaged, actually feeling the lifting of the glasses and the putting down of the cutlery and the moving of things, the aesthetic sense. Now as well as the actual practicalities of laying the table, there is the attitude by, with which you, which you bring to the laying of the table. Like you might actually have a very matter of fact, practical attitude. Well, it just this is all it needs: a tablecloth, that, that, and that. Very practical. You just do it. Boom, boom, boom. Or you might have a, a different attitude where you're really going to enjoy and relish the task of laying the table. So it's a different attitude. You're still going to be thorough and follow through, but you're going to enjoy the whole process. You've given yourself time and uh, you're going to engage with it with enjoyment. And the, the general kind of background aspects of mindfulness of staying with it as much as possible, following through, Notice when your mind distracts you, coming back are all relevant here. But one of the, th the things that I think is particularly nice about this little exercise is it's very embodied. It's, it, you use your body. So part of that awareness is what happens to your body when you're doing things as well as your sort of attitude, oh, I'd really like to do this nicely for these people. So it's a sort of generous attitude, you could say. And in that way, you, you follow through from beginning right through to completion. 